What do you think? You think she should wear glasses or not? Put your glasses on. Is light reflecting off the glasses? Yes, it is. Yep. Yeah. There, I put my hand. Down yeah, on stay the that. Side. Don't, don't move. <laughs> don't move. Okay, I'll try not to move. All right. Well, about had a mishap. <laughs> Almost had to go to the hospital about a half hour ago. Ken decided to take a spill in the parking lot. Oh, my goodness. All I know is I heard two screams behind me, and I looked back, and she's on the ground. Yes. Yeah. <sighs> yep. Trip, trip almost ended. <laughs> I look red. Yeah. My nose looks red. I think it's the light. You've got a red shirt on, too, and uh, I've got a pink shirt it's on. Not. I'm sure it's the reflection. They're going to have uh, to just deal with Well, you forgot the sunscreen today. Yeah, I did forget sunscreen today. And it's brutal out there. It was not an easy day. I knew <laughs> just, it wasn't. Just putting the stuff in and out of the car is horrible. I can't imagine bicycles. Well, Sack had a tough day. She had to take <laughs> put stuff in the car, and then she had to take stuff out of the car. She <laughs> fell down. She's frustrated because the Wi-Fi is not working right. Wow. The laundry is clear on the other side of the hotel. <laughs> yeah. It just not on the it's pretty. I just don't know how she's getting through the day. I can't well, imagine biking. He wanted to uh, trade places with I, me. There's no way. All I did today was wake up at 5 o'clock. I knew it was going to be hot. It was. Mm -hmm. Got out on the road by 5.30. Yeah. Nobody's on the road in Memphis at 5.30 on, a Sunday, on a Sunday morning. Flew through Memphis. Crossed the Mississippi State Line. Which, by the way, Mississippi... Oh, wait. We did get a picture of the Mississippi State. Yeah. Mississippi did have a sign. But not but where it was, I crossed it. Yes. Or where I crossed it. Yeah, we got we cheesed it. We got one later. Yeah. Um, I went as fast as I could from five thirty to about nine, but I had twelve mile an hour. Went so let me back up. Picture this: ground as flat as you can imagine. <laughs> it's as flat as a pancake. Yeah. Right. To your right, you have a bean field that goes on forever. To your left, you have another bean field that goes on forever. You have a road that goes out ahead of you. It's raised between the bean forever. fields. Huh? It's raised between the bean fields. Raised. Part of the way, the road is higher than the bean fields. Sometimes. Yeah. Behind you, there's a road that goes forever. Add 95 degree weather on hot pavement. Humid. Humid, and a 12 mile an hour wind right in your face. You bicyclists know what I mean. Mm -hmm. I went as far as I could before it got hot. It got hot about nine o'clock. I started feeling it. I was about halfway done at 8:30. Still had 40 miles to go. My trip was 70 miles long. Uh, and it was the same road the whole time, mm -hmm. straight as an arrow. Got here, so we went. So we went from Memphis. I don't even know what this place is called. We're across the river from West. Is it Helena or Hel Helena? Helena. I don't know. We're across the river from West Helena, Arkansas. But Casino we're, Resort. We're in, the, is... we're in the Mississippi. We're in the Miss state of Mississippi. <laughs> and I got my first headache of the trip. So I got here about twelve thirty. So it wasn't terrible. I got an early start. It's, it was mm -hmm. the best case scenario with a 12 mile an hour wind mm -hmm. in my face. Mm -hmm. So I, I can't, I mean, it's the best case scenario. Other than the fact that my wife is having a terrible day because she's got to put, put stuff in the car, out of the car, and Wi Fi's not working. I didn't say I had a terrible day. So, so I'm going to try my best to recover. And then um, while I was biking, Kim went to church, right? Yeah, I went to church. Mm -hmm. Where did you go to church? Went to Hernando United Methodist Church, at least for one more week. It's United Methodist. Right, they're going global next week. They're going week. global next week, yeah. yes. Very traditional service. Yeah, yeah, like robes, like three pastors up front, robes, stoles. Mm. Yeah, and it was cold in there. Mm. Yeah, they probably had to have it cold because if not, the pastors probably pass out from heat. Yeah, 
And people were very nice and friendly. Friendly and Jim yeah. the Usher. Jim the Usher. Yep. All right, that's yep. good. Okay. All right. Um, I don't have anything more to add to my mm -mm. sweltering day. No, we just have to do laundry today. Got to do laundry. Yes. Which is way on the other side of the hotel. Right, as opposed to all the other times when it was like right across from our room. I don't know how you're going to get through this day. Well, I, I will persevere because well, that's what a sound does. Hopefully tomorrow will be better for you. I, I hope so. For me, it's not going to be much <laughs> better because instead well, of going 70 miles, I'm going, to ni I'm going 90 miles. Well, it may be from, a fair way or something. From here office. to Greenville, Mississippi. Mm -hmm. And it's not going to be a high of 95. It's going to be a high of 98. And the real feel, I'm a big fan of real feel. <laughs> real feel is not going to be 107 today. It's going to be 114 tomorrow. Yeah. So I'm getting up. As soon as I see a speck of light on the horizon, I'm leaving on my bicycle. I'm going to pedal as fast as I can. The winds will not be coming out of the south now. Tomorrow they're supposed to come out of the west-southwest. So that will be a little better. So hopefully I'll be able to make better time. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, prayers would be appreciated. We are in the south. Yeah. Um, and that would be it. So more of the same tomorrow, flat. We're in, the, we're in what's called the Mississippi Delta region. Mm -hmm. For those of you who are not familiar with that, it's, it's notoriously flat. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's no shade. I didn't mention that part. I think I saw a couple bushes on the way here. And Thank goodness there, might have been, there might have been a telephone pole that casted a shadow somewhere near the road. There was supposed to be a 73% chance of thunderstorms. I didn't hit any thunderstorms, and I thank God for that, because if I would have hit a thunderstorm, there's no cover. I don't know what I would have done. I don't know what I would have done. <laughs> I would have just, I don't know. I don't know. I, yeah, that well, would have been bad. Mm -hmm. So you need to stick with me close tomorrow. Yes. Because there's probably supposed to be thunderstorms tomorrow. Yes, I plan on it. Yeah. I'm no, not getting no, up as early as you do. No today. church for you tomorrow. No, no, no. church. All right, everybody. Um, so that's it for today. Uh, have you thought about what's next? Um, I hadn't, but I'm sure I can come up with All right. something. What's the next segment? Something. Um, rotting things in the berm. Rotting things in the berm, otherwise known as what was that dead thing? All right. Mitch is tired. What was that dead thing? There'll be an abbreviated version. I have a what you would call it a. Um, I have a headache, but it's, it's kind of headache when you strain strain yourself, something like that. Exertion, exertion headache. I have an exertion headache. Um, Mississippi's. Maybe as safe as Tennessee. I found one raccoon. I found one rabbit. I found three snakes and two birds. So that's all I found today. Um, it's probably because the animals are not foolish enough to be outside in this heat. So. Mitch is tired because Mitch has been in the hot car all day long. Um, I'll put the totals up to my left. And um, not much of a change today. Wish I had some interesting thoughts. I have a story about the snakes. But I'll save that for another time. Um, so the best statistic though. The best statistic is what, everybody? You should know it by now. Mitch isn't going to say it. Mitch is sleeping. Zero bicyclists. Zero river otters. How many sags, Kim? Hey, what was that? Um, you got to turn the camera around. How many sags, what? How many sags? We almost had one today. <laughs> we almost had one. I saw no sags down on the side of the road. No sags down on the side of the road. So that's good too. In the parking lot. 
So, all right, everybody. Later. How far behind the car do you need to be to draft? For you bicyclists out there, you know drafting is like crucial. Uh, it can save like 30% of your energy if you draft off the vehicle in front of you, whether another bicycle or another car. How far do you need to be behind? Let's say, for example, a GMC train that's blue and uh, is driven by my wife, just hypothetically. How far do you need to be behind a GMC train to draft? It would have been perfect. There's no cars. 30, 20, 12 mile hour wind in my face to have a GMC train the answer is like two three four feet in front of me so I can draft off the train and, and reserve energy it's, that is it's, too close for the for the sag to feel comfortable it's 30 yards close enough to draft off a vehicle bicyclists <laughs> answer is no, no. no. Thirty yards is not close enough. This so is something we should have I'm, practiced. I'm going down the road, and she's like slowing down thirty yards ahead of me, like I'm drafting off of her. No. So I, I try to wave her back, and then she takes off. Gone. Well, he he did he did he did this he did this, and if he wanted me to come back, he needed to go back like that. I thought he's like go on because there's no way you're going to do this, which was probably very true. The answer to the deep mathematical thought is two to four feet. I can't do that. I can't do it. You're making too nervous. Yes, it would. Yes. You'd just like slam on the brakes, and I would. Uh, I go too slow, and then you run the into way. it, and yeah, yeah. <sighs> yep. What day is this? This is day twenty, right? No, yeah, nineteen. 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 Day nineteen. Oh. All right. We have seven more days. Bye.